I was asked to see Liam because there were some concerns with how his motor development was progressing and they were having a lot of difficulties with tightness in his muscles that were interfering with what you would typically see a child his age um, able to do. Uh, Liam's cerebral palsy affects his body functions. He d can't grasp things, he can't feed himself, change himself, or toilet himself. So we have to do that for him. His eyes were just full of life and he's wanting to communicate and express what he wanted. He's very independent minded. So I knew the minute that we got access to our brain control interfacing, that he would be someone that we wanted to talk to about that. Basically, it's taking EEG signals from our brains and it is interfacing with a very special computer system and software. Run over your dead hand. We can imagine a future where Liam could use BCI to um, help drive his wheelchair, for example. He might be able to use BCI to turn the lights on and control his home, and then maybe to get in uh, his wheelchair or other way of getting to work and control that to getting work, and BCI may be an important part of whatever profession he chooses. The more independent he becomes with technology, who knows, he can do anything. We want to be able to know that we're providing the very best opportunities and care for everybody who comes to trust their care to a provider here at the Glen Rose. Liam has come a long way from being in an incubator. He can do so much more by himself because of the Glen Rose.